Today I'm going to tell you how you can do this simple everyday makeup in under 10 minutes. So step 1 is moisturizer. Moisturizer prevents your foundation from looking caked on and keeps your skin healthy underneath your makeup. Take a little more than a pea-sized moisturizer. Dab on a small amount of moisturizer with your fingers. Spread outward and pat in the moisturizer with your fingers. Pro tip: Heavy moisturizers add a dewy effect to your appearance. Avoid using dewy foundation on top of that which can overdo it. Step 2 is Color Corrector. Apply the color corrector to the under eyes and areas you have discoloration. You can use your fingers to dab on the concealer. The warmth from your fingers will help it melt into your skin. Just make sure you wash your hands first. Step 3 is Concealer. Apply concealer to the areas you put color corrector. You can also apply the lighter shade to your T-zone area to create a radiant look. Use the dabbing technique to blend out the concealer. Step 4 is the foundation. Next, apply your foundation in an even layer over your face. You can use a damp makeup sponge or brush to dab the foundation on in a thin layer. Step 5. Loose powder. Loose powder is used to set your makeup in place. Don't use too much loose powder if you have dry skin. Step 6 is contour. Applying cheek contour to the hollows of your cheeks can slim them down. Make sure you blend it well. Now use a thin brush to apply a thin line of contour to either side of your nose bridge. Step 7. Blush. Apply blush to a heart shaped face in a C shape. You can apply a little bit of blush to your nose and chin for that flush look. Step 8. Eyeshadow using blush. All you need to take is some blush on a small brush and apply it on your eyelids. Make sure you don't take too much. Step 9. Eyeliner. So here we are taking a gel eyeliner. Start with a line above your lashes. Make sure you use small lines and strokes. It is always better to build it up. If you make it too thick, you might create a mess out of it. So keep the strokes small. Step 10. Mascara. Start by applying the mascara from the middle of your lashes. Wiggle the wand as you apply, making you coat each hair from base to tip. Now repeat on the other side. Step 11. Lip tint or lip balm. It can help you hydrate your lips and give a more natural look and long lasting ability. All you need to do is use your fingers and gently apply the lip tint on your lips. So guys, this was my 10 minute makeup look. I hope this works for you as well. So would you want to try a 10 minute makeup look? Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such points. Do you struggle with choosing a foundation that suits your skin tone? This is why today I will show you how you can pick the right foundation for your skin type and how to apply foundation correctly. Step 1. Cleanser. Apply a gentle cleanser on your face. Make sure you don't rub your face harshly. Now take a soft towel and gently cleanse your face. Step 2. Moisturizer. Since I have combination skin, I always make sure to apply my moisturizer after washing my face thoroughly. I will gently apply it all over my face and neck. Step 3. Understand your skin type. So guys, there are basically 4 skin types. Dry, oily, combination and sensitive. For oily skin, use a oil-free foundation or a powder-based foundation. 
For dry skin, use a liquid or a stick foundation. And for combination skin, you should try mixing and matching formulas and avoid foundations that are oil rich. For sensitive skin, avoid ingredients like alcohol and fragrance as they can irritate your skin. Step 4. How to match the shade to your skin tone. Now that we have figured out the skin type, it's time to select a foundation that matches the skin tone. Now, your neck and jawline are the best places to test whether a foundation is a match for your skin. Now I'll apply two shades of foundation. The right shade will easily blend into your skin color. If it's leaving a whitish cast on your skin or if it's making you look darker, then it's the wrong shade. Don't be afraid to mix two different colors for summer and winter. This also works because your skin tone will vary through the year and also vary in different areas of your face. Step 5. Identify your undertone. There is one more way to check this out. Look at the color of your veins and if they appear more purple or bluish, you are cool toned. But if your veins appear greenish, you are warm toned. Step 6. Choose your coverage. If you are looking for a daily foundation, go in for a light based coverage. If you are looking for an event based foundation, go in for a full based coverage. If you want your foundation to be of light coverage, mix it with your moisturizer. Step 7. How to apply foundation. I'll apply foundation on one side of my face to see the difference. I am here using this sponge for even distribution. I will just gently dab the foundation on my face so it spreads nicely. I will just use the setting spray on the large, flat size of my makeup sponge and press it onto my face all over to make it look natural and hydrated. I hope this really helped you to pick the right foundation for you. Step 1. Cleanser Step 2. Moisturizer Step 3. Understand your skin type Step 4. How to match the shade to your skin tone Step 5. Identify your undertone Step 6. Choose your coverage Step 7. How to apply foundation Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such content. Do you always struggle with applying eyeliner? If yes, then today I'm going to show you different ways to apply eyeliner. That too with quite ease. Now, there are different types of eyeliners such as pencil, glitter, liquid and gel liner. Different liners can be used to create different looks. Pencil eyeliners are used to create bolder lines and are a perfect option for beginners. Pen eyeliners are quite user friendly with an easy glide while liquid eyeliners are best for those who have mastered the steady hand. Bold single I'm going to show you a very interesting and trendy style called bold single. It is best for people who have small eyes and this style helps to give an illusion of bigger eyes. First, I will do a simple thin stroke of the liner from the inner corner to the outer corner. Guys, do not add a wing to the end and there you go, we are done. This will make your eyes look bigger. Cat eyeliner is best for monolids. This eye shape does not have a crease and you want to keep the liner as close to the lash line as possible. And then go for a thick elongated wing. It really helps to give the eye some definition shape and length. I will start by drawing a light stroke of the liner from the center of my eyes to the end. Then I'm going to do a straight wing but I will keep it small. From the end of the wing I will again come back into the center and then I will draw a thin line to the inner corner of my eye. Once I'm done with the outline I will make proper lines and sharpen them as much as possible. Do not overdo the strokes and make very crisp lines to make your liner look perfect and always stretch your skin back with your hand while applying the eye liner. How to apply Arabian liner People who have hooded eyes should try this liner 
as it helps to create a stunning look. I will start by drawing the outlines first. This is a little similar to the cat eyeliner but the only difference here is that in the cat eyeliner look the wing is angled at the end of the eyebrows while in this look you keep the wing straight pointed towards the earlobe. After drawing the outlines I will work my way through the upper eyelid and then come to the lower lid of the eye. Now I will go from the inner corner to the mid lower lash line of my eye. Now this is how we will complete the look. Graphic liner On a wing liner just extend one line from the outer corner above the crease and you are ready. Make sure you curl your lashes. Last, it's time for a very important tip. When selecting eyeliner styles, a quick trick is to consider your eye color, skin complexion, age and even your outfit. Guys, always ensure that your eyeliner style complements with your overall makeup. Bold single. It is best for people who have small eyes and this style helps to give an illusion of bigger eyes. Cat eyeliner is best for monolids. It really helps to give the eye some definition shape and length. Arabian liner. People who have hooded eyes should try this liner as it helps to create a stunning look. Graphic liner. Tell me which eyeliner look you're trying next and keep watching this space for more such content.